Good morning everybody and welcome to this summer half term headmasters blog. It's Friday the 27th of May and I'm going to start by reflecting upon a unique day. Yesterday, Thursday, we celebrated the Platinum Jubilee here at Kingswood House. The entire school and the site was bedecked with Union Jacks. All of the boys and girls and teaching and support staff came in mufti with a red, white and blue theme. Um, some, I have to say, uh, more than others in terms of how uh, well planned and executed their, uh, their styles were. Some fabulous uh, array on show, which you'll see in the newsletter. Um, and we had an alfresco lunch, so uh, Jane and the team prepared a garden party style luncheon that we had alfresco out in the playground and fortunately the weather just about held for that to, to be able to, to, to happen. Um, we have had, thanks to Miss Sumner's, a time capsule being buried at the bottom of the school field. Everybody has written their own notes with their name, who they are, what their favourite memory of Kingswood House is. So the hope is that uh, in a few years' time, the Kingswood House community will dig that up um, and actually hopefully get in touch with some of the pupils and staff who were here at that uh, Platinum Jubilee celebration yesterday. And of course, what the real symbolism is, is that we're paying tribute to Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II, who has been for all of us uh, a constant, a uh, consistent source of integrity um, across the Commonwealth, really. And in spite of her own well-documented uh, personal and family issues, she's never allowed them to impinge upon her loyalty or duties, which she has uh, carried out most steadfastly um, for others. So we, in our own small way, were very privileged to be able to say thank you and acknowledge the tremendous work that she has done. And quite simply, she is one of a kind, a wonderful role model, a wonderful ambassador, particularly to our girls, somebody uh, whom we hold in, in, in the most great respect. So a fabulous day and um, a lovely way really for us to roll into half term. Um, the sun is shining today. Uh, the boys and girls are working hard and uh, as ever our GCSE students are, are ploughing ahead. They have chemistry and computer science today so I'm sure they will be pleased to draw breath for a few days as well. Earlier in the week we had Year 9s uh, lead our um, Making of Modern Britain assembly up at uh, Christchurch. Our friends there very uh, kindly hosting us once again. The Reverend, Reverend Rosemary Donovan uh, talked um, about Ascension which of course was celebrated yesterday and used uh, bubbles as a visual metaphor for that concept, which I thought was very, very apt. We had um, the Kingswood Singers um, giving a demonstration of Coldplay's Fix You, and I read out Nathaniel's superb Jubilee winning entry poem uh, to round things off. So that was a very convivial occasion as well. Um, on Wellington House Day this time last week, Mrs Lindley and uh, the team have now raised a staggering £1,000 for the Make-A-Wish charity. And I think it just goes to show that uh, all of the learning that the boys and girls undertake here at Kingswood House doesn't always take place in the classroom. We pay an enormous amount of time and effort into what one can achieve by empathy, uh, with values, with entrepreneurial skills. And in their own way, that Wellington House Day was... Uh, a, a very good example of all of that and I'm delighted that we have managed to raise such a, a superb sum of money through a house day for a very worthwhile course. After half term we return to an action packed few weeks in the lead up to the end of the academic year. There are all sorts of ways that you as parents can get involved in school events, some of which are compulsory, some of which are not. We hope to see you at many of them. Uh, so please be organised, make sure that you look ahead at the dates and uh, there really is uh, no excuse for being able to make the most of uh, what has been the culmination of a wonderful year to date and uh, hopefully we can all come together as a school community um, and see it out in style. In the meantime, here are this week's Mensas in Dispatches. Lots of very deserving candidates. Firstly to Abdurrahman for his improvement in reading this week from Mr Clerk. Zain Jawed, Endeavour in Maths, and also for an excellent piece of work on Noah's Ark. 
Gregory Chung has been kind and helpful. Teddy Clifford Evans has had a great term and put a lot of effort into his work. Fraser Schmidt, always enthusiastic, even when he finds a topic tricky. Torin, well done for being very kind to a boy who had no partner in a class activity and he stepped in. Well done to all of 6L for their good behaviour in the art workshop. Uh, Nathaniel John, constantly helpful around the class and equally uh, a nomination from me for his fantastic poem, which I read out, as I said, in assembly. Well done to Kai Cho for remembering his manners with teachers and re uh, respect for his peers. Well done to our tennis squad, the under 11s, uh, Peter Summers, Aaron Arachandran, Lucas Christie and Jensen Webble for their endeavour in a tough match against Belmont. Uh, well done to all of 7BA for their work in PSHE, especially Harry Hewitt, who said, I quote, things you buy cannot fulfill the joy of friendships and relationships. Amazing insight there from Harry. Thank you, Mr. Barrett, for that wonderful nomination. Well done again to Harry. Good week for you, young man. Um, you've been nominated as well for mathematics. James Miller's working hard this term. Lots of endeavour, says Miss Black. Uh, Dylan Newman, constantly polite, showing the values of the Kingswood House way. Kieran Schmidt, kindness and compassionate. Lawrence Espedes, some ups and downs this week, it's fair to say, but in general, much more settled and at her best. She is just the best role model we could ask for. So let's keep it on the higher level. Lauren, Enzo Reed, great initiative, navigating his way to school when he caught the wrong train. So well done, a good recovery. Uh, thank you, Miss Foster. I really like that nomination. Will Harvison, working hard in all areas of school. And Yusuf Masood, excellent drama work for Mrs. Orley. In 8L, uh, Avanish, Ayan and Theo have been working hard in their French grammar. Ethan Carroll and Zach Howes, are working extremely well on their text. Frankenstein with Mrs. Bray. Theo, Avanish and Arlo working hard in science. Max Lopez, Johnny Barnes volunteering to practice their IPQ presentations in front of the whole class. Well done to all of uh, Year 8 for doing that. I know Mr. Brooks really enjoyed it. Uh, 8T, well done for another good French lesson from Madame Taylor, even lasting on a Friday after House Day last week. And well done to the under-13 tennis squad, Charles Wren, Ethan Carroll, Sam Carroll and Enzo Reed for a great effort in their match against Belmont. Into the seniors, all of 9B have impressed Mrs Bray. She's had good reports from other staff about their enthusiasm, behaviour and their values on the trip. Owen Courtney has had a very understated, for all the right reasons, half term, especially in science. Alex Hill, Nathan Ashwell, Ted Bunny Rames and Henry Sweetman, lots of endeavour shown last week from Mr Hendry and Nathan Ashwell again, Charlie Leonard, very helpful and considerate, says Mr March. And Mr Mitchell has said, um, in respect of the trip last week, well done to all of the Year 9 pupils who are great ambassadors for the school. Very impressed by the respect shown to all of our guides, the integrity shown whilst discussing a difficult topic like slavery, and the endeavour shown by all on the hike to Kinder Scout. Um, into 10H, well done uh, to all of the form for Mrs Hornstetter for being in the top 10 for house points this term. It's rare for seniors to achieve that, so that is very good indeed. 10W, I mentioned for your interesting and dynamic discussion in PSHE about social media, media from Mrs Weston. Ted Hartley, a very good response to an art prep last week for Mrs Wraith. Tirrit and Barnaby Hill stepping up and speaking as ambassadors in the DV Assembly last week. Uh, Barnaby again, Will Hamilton and Enan, well done for thinking about uh, a practical uh, note on forces um, for Miss Black in science. So, as you can tell, it's been a week of uh, busyness, uh, a week of uh, industry, um, and indeed a week with plentiful successes, both on an individual and a collective level. As we move into this half term, it's really important that the boys and girls get lots of sleep, that they're energised, they get outside, get some fresh air, try and keep to a good healthy diet. The next few weeks in the lead in to the end of term will be jam packed, uh, not just with learning, but with things and opportunities for them to get involved in and beyond the classroom. And we want them to be at their optimum. So please make sure that they have a good rest, come back with uh, batteries fully recharged. Um, and likewise, the same message will be going out to all of my wonderful teaching and support staff as well. I'm very pleased that we are working towards um, paperless reports this term. Um, beneath the surface, this has taken an unbelievable amount of time, 
Mr Sikday especially has spent a lot of time on this, so thank you to him. Um, you will be getting a letter shortly just to explain that you must upload your parent portal on Engage in order to pick up your report this term. If we are able to get across the line and make it a remote report, you will only be able to access it through the parent portal. So please look out for important communications about that at the uh, start of the new half of term. And finally, uh, again, year seven upwards, if you would like to attend the sixth form open event, which is coming up shortly after half term, there will be lots of representatives from senior schools. Again, a great opportunity just to come in and talk very informally about future plans for sixth form and beyond. In the meantime, I wish you all a wonderful half term.